Well, why can't you give The Haunted a chance to release their new album in flames? Hello, my best hound friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark a Punk here, with a brand new re-ranking. So, this time I'm re-ranking in flames again. So, the reason being is because they just released a new album last month, so, by the name Forgone. So, I'm going to give you guys my official thoughts on their new one as well in the ranking, since my opinions are going to change since my, uh, my old one, so, so there's 14 instead of 13 now, so it's going to be a, a little bit of a lot of editing for me to do. <laughs> so, let's not bullshit around, waste time, so, worst to best, 14 to 1, so, here we go. My 14th worst one out of all the Inflame albums is going to be Soundtrack to Your Escape. Yes, this is one of their worst ones, in my opinion. They changed their sound department so weirdly, and um, it doesn't sound good at all. It doesn't sound anywhere near as in Flames, so originality, in my opinion. So. Yes, so I fucking hate this one, guys. So this is the one album I mostly hate out of all the in Flame albums. My number 14th worst one is going to be Soundtrack to Your Escape. Alright, you guys want to know what my 13th worst one is? And it also has no tracks at all, because I also hate this one. It's called Battles. So, both albums I fucking hate in this one. So, surprisingly, right? So, it doesn't get any better. It's still worse, in my opinion. It still sounds the same as the last one I put in my number 14th. So... It's a tad bit better, but I still don't like this album, guys, so I have no opinions and tracks about this one. So, overall, guys, it's another hated one, guys. So, my number 13th one is going to be Battles. Number 12 is going to be Siren Charms. This one, I have only one track that I like from this one. So, the song is called When the World Explodes, so... That's the only song I think it's memorable on this, in my opinion, so. It's not as really terrible, but I this is my still my least favorite out of all of them, so. I get a little bit of enjoyment, but not really. It still sounds the same to me, <laughs> in the other department of the production. So, uh, yeah, that's the only song I like from this album, guys. Sorry to disappoint you, but it's still my least favorite out of all of them so my number 12th position is going to be siren charms holy shit it's not over guys so we're still in the worst area for me in my opinion so my number 11th pick is going to be eye the mask so still gets worse here on out so only one track i like from this is memorable is uh, i am i am above so that's the only memorable track from this album so Still sounds the same as my last one, so it's, it doesn't get any better for me. It just bores the living shit out of me. So from these ones, and uh, I have nothing to say about this one either. So the only memorable track, like I said, I am above. That's the only memorable track I know from this overall. My number 11th pick is going to be I the Mask. All right, my bats on friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. We're almost out of the dump area of my ranking. And uh, my number 10th pick is going to be Sounds of a Playground Fading one. This one is a little bit better, I guess. It gets a little bit better. So the three songs I like from it, I think are memorable, are All For Me, Fear Is The Weakness, and lastly, Enter Tragedy. So, uh... Those are the only memorable few tracks I like from this one, so it's a tad bit better, but it's not as um, confusing and boring to me. So it's still a little bit boring, but some of the songs are not that boring to me. I think they're pretty memorable overall. My number ten position is going to be "Sounds of a Playground Fading." Number nine is going to be "A Sense of Purpose." So this one. 
I think is um, another average one in my opinion in this ranking overall. This one I can get okay enjoyment out of it and the rest of the songs are just a tad bit boring for me. Songs I remember I liked from it is uh, Disconnected, Sober, and Irrelevant, and lastly Drenched in Fear. Another few songs I do like from it, so this one is not that memorable to me. It's just at the plain average for me, below average album to me overall. And uh, yeah, my number ninth pick is going to be A Sense of Purpose. Okay, now we're in the middle of my ranking, so this gets a little bit decent to better here on out. So I'm excited to get to this part. So my number 8th pick is going to be Reroute to Remain. This one, I like a couple more tracks from this one, so this is going to be exciting. The songs I think are memorable are Reroute to Remain, Drifter, Transparent, Dawn of a New Day, and lastly Black and White. So 5 songs I like from this album, and uh, pretty awesome. So this is above average for me in this category. So I can get... Um, good enjoyment, not super good enjoyment out of this one. I can have a okay decent enough time with it. So my number eighth pick is going to be Reroute to Remain. Alright, my number seventh pick for this ranking is actually gonna be the newcomer that came out last month. It's called Foregone. So this made it in the middle of my ranking. So it's still in the above average category of my ranking. So, this one is a little bit better than the last one I put at my number 8. So, songs I like. I like the beginning instrumental of it. It's called The Beginning of All Things Will End. Uh, State of the State of Slow Decay. Foregone Part 1. Don't like Part 2. So, so uh, The Great Deceiver is cool. A dialogue in B flat minor. And lastly, End of the, end the Transmission. So six songs I like from it. So overall, guys, it's a above average rating for me for their new one last month. It's okay. So it's nothing spectacular. It's a tad bit disappointing. I, I expect a little bit better in my opinion overall. My number seventh pick is going to be, unfortunately, is a newcomer, Foregone. All right. My number six is going to be Come Clarity Album. Uh, this one's a little bit better than their latest one. This one has the same sounds as like their new one, in my opinion, a little bit. I gotta give it to a little bit of a classic here. Yeah, Come Clar Clarity is above average, pretty good one, in my opinion. So I can have a above decent time with this one. So songs I like is Take This Life, Leeches, Reflect the Storm. Dead End, Scream, Vacuum, Pacing, Death's Trail. So there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tracks I think are memorable from Clum Clarity album. In my opinion, that's pretty good. So, above average rating for me. So it's good. So my number 6 is going to be Clum Clarity. This is it, my best home friends and my lemon... Hi cuties, my sexy ones. For these top five, I think all the tracks are pretty awesome here on out. I think are pretty good. My top five are pretty good in my opinion, here on out. So my answer for my number five pick for this ranking, you ask, is gonna be their first debut album called Lunar Strain. So I actually like this first album now. So I like all tracks, last time I didn't. The reason I like this one is their first debut. It sounds really, really goddamn similar to Kitty's instrumental sounding, in my opinion. It sounds so similar. Just compare that with Kitty. You know what I mean. So, um, yeah, their first album sounds so damn similar. So, which I like. So, I'm gonna name all the tracks Behind Space, Lunar Strain, Star Forsaken. I like both the instrumentals, they're pretty good. Dreamscape and instrumental. Ever Lost Parts 1 and 2. Uh, I can't pronounce track 7's instrumental, so so that's another good instrumental. Uh, In Flames, huh, title drop. Uh, Upon an Oaken Throne, 
And lastly, clay clad in shadows. <clears throat> yeah, this made it to my top five. I really like the kitty style of their first album of In Flames. So I think it's really good overall. So my number fifth pick is going to be Lunar Strain. But if you know what, it's actually better than Kitty's style of In Flames, which is going to be my number fourth pick, is going to be Clayman. Originally, this was in the middle of my ranking. I'm starting to um, enjoy it a little bit more because I do like the corn style of this album. I think it's really good since I just, I'm a fan of corn, so I like this particular style of this Clayman start, um, instrumental style. I think it's really cool. So all 11 tracks I like. So Bullet Ride, Pinball Map, Only for the Week, As the Future Repeats Today, Square Nothing, Clay Man, there you go. Satellites and Astronauts, Bush the Dust, uh, yeah, Brush the Dust Away, I almost said that wrong, Swim, uh, Suburbian Me, and lastly, Another Day in Quicksand. There you go. So, I like the corn style of this In Flames album better than I do with the Kitty's first debut album style, in my opinion. This is cool overall, overall guys. I'm starting to appreciate it more. So, my number fourth pick is going to be Clay. And now, I made it to my top three. So, my top three are actually going to change a little bit since my old one. So, bronze, silver, gold, you know the whole shtick. What am I going to put for my number three bronze medal winner, you ask? Which actually changed, and it moved up quite a bit in the style I like. My number three is going to be Calling Me, so there you go. This one is actually still pretty fucking awesome. This one is, still is, in my opinion. Still awesome. And I like all 11 tracks here on out. Embody the Invisible, Ordinary Story, Scorn, uh, Colony, Tile Drop. Uh, Zombie Inc. is pretty cool. Uh, Pillar Anders Visa instrumental. Awesome instrumental. Uh, uh, Chorus and uh, Constant. Awesome song. Uh, Risen. Beyond Space 99. Uh, Insped 2000. And lastly, The New World. Yeah, this one is still pretty kick ass. I can really enjoy this one still. Awesome late 90s in flames album in my opinion. Still holds up. So my number three bronze medal winner is gonna be Colin. Ugh. My number two silver medal winner is actually going to be the Jester Race. This made it a little bit better than Colony, you ask. Yeah, it's surprising to you guys. This made it to my number two silver medal winner. So there you go. Yeah, the Jester Race is really good, so I like the original first print edition instead of the other version. I don't know why they have it on Spotify. So I really like the original first print version. So I'm glad YouTube has it. So yeah, the first print's better. And it's their second album, pretty awesomely. So this one, I like their second album better. So all 10 tracks, Moonshield, the Jester's Dance Instrumental, Artifacts of the Black Rain, Graveland's cool. Lord Hypnos, Dead uh, Eternity, The Just Erase, uh, December Flower, uh, Wayfarer Instrumental is awesome. A couple of their instrumentals are really good. And lastly, Do Dead God and Me. Yeah, this one still holds up, in my opinion, is still really good. So fucking good, in my opinion. Yeah, Just Erase. I'm gonna put the Just Race at my number two Civil Mouth win winner spot. So, there you go, guys. All right, my best sound friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. You wanna know what my number one gold medal winner is gonna be? That actually changed since last time. Or it might be the same, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm just gonna throw it out to you guys right now. It's actually going to be the Horacle album. This made it to my number one gold medal winner spot. This one, I think, is their best one, in my opinion, is the Horacle one. I think this one kicks ass out of all 14 of them. Yes, I made a ballsy decision to make this as my number one, so. I love the hell out of this one. 
So I'm gonna name all 11 tracks and I'll get the hell out of here because I have a little bit of headache. So here we go. Joe Tun, Food for the Gods, Gyroscope, Heroscope, whatever it's called, uh, Dialogue with the Stars Instrumental, awesome instrumental, The Hive, Jester Script uh, Transfigured, Morphing into Primal, uh, Worlds Within the Margin, uh, Episode Triple Six, uh, Everything Counts uh, Depeche Mode Cover, awesome, and lastly, the Oracle Instrumental. So there you go. Yes, I put this as my number one gold medal winner. Shut up. I really like the Oracle album, guys, out of all of them. So please do not hate me. Yeah. So this is my most favorite um, In Flames album of all time. So right in your face. So please don't bitch at me in the comments below and uh, all that good stuff. Yes, my number one gold medal winner, yes, is my most favorite is horrible. Okay, guys. That is my re-ranking of In Flames. Holy crap. So I got... I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of my editing. This took me a while. Since there's 14 of them, goddamn. It's like, give The Haunted a chance to release their new album soon. I want to see that happen. I don't think it's going to happen, goddamn it. But anyway, they both live in the same country, Sweden, and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. Overall, I still like In Flames, but their later stuff, its it just bores the living shit out of me. It doesn't sound the same as the original ones I just mentioned as in my top five. And, uh, God, it drives me crazy, those trash ones in the, in the beginning. And, uh, yes, my next re-ranking is Metallica. I'm excited to hear what their new one's going to be, their 11th new one. I'm looking forward to it, so I have to wait until April fucking 13th for it to happen. Oh my god. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's good. I hope it's not a disappointment. So I still need you guys to vote what my next ranking is going to be. So I'll put the, uh, the short video in the description of my video as well. You still need to keep voting. Next I'll be re-ranking re Metallica. So see what my thoughts are on their new one. And it's called 72 Seasons, by the way. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this right now before I have a little bit of a headache. Anyway, if you enjoy this re-ranking of In Flames studio albums, so subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get all of my notifications whenever I'll upload. And uh, also share this re-ranking of In Flames studio albums. And... Uh, I'll see you on my re-ranking of Metallica soon. So, seizure, later.